hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new so for today's video we are going to get some cleaning done we are going to get some of our yeast going we got a game we've got to go to dinner to start let's just get the day started okay so i don't have too much that i need to do but i did write a list down i know that i'm not going to get to everything on my list but it was worth writing down to visually see what i need to do um, i'm gonna start with the easiest things on the list first so i'm gonna kind of pick and choose what i'm gonna do um, and i'll show you guys exactly what i wrote down okay so so far what i have is i have dishes clean underneath the sink in the downstairs bathroom if you watched my last video you've seen how i deep cleaned the bathroom but i did not do underneath the sink so i do need to do that we still have the baby's clothes because we're still working on her closet in baskets so i'm gonna fold those i do need to prepare dinner because tonight we are gonna have a date night daddy and i so i need to prepare dinner for the kids i do need to vacuum downstairs and sweep and mop all downstairs i do need to clean the refrigerator out because that is actually pretty dirty and it needs to be cleaned the baby needs to have a bath wash the baby's high chair out with bleach just to sanitize it and whatnot and then clean off the bar cart so I'm gonna get this started and I think I'm gonna start with the dishes right now and then I think I will go to probably wash the baby's um, high chair off with like a bleach spray and kind of sanitize it and whatnot and then we will see what we do from there all right so we are going to start in the kitchen we're going to get these dishes done the night before um the honey wanted tomato soup and grilled cheese sandwiches for dinner it was kind of a weird request because he normally doesn't ask for that but i was like okay and we kind of were just lounging around so i didn't get the dishes done um i just threw everything in the sink so i really don't like the kids loading the dishwasher i will have them unload the dishwasher but i don't really like them loading the dishwasher i guess it's just like a pet peeve of mine i like to load it myself i have a certain way that i like doing it now if they're in trouble i'll tell them you know what get in there and load the dishwasher <laughs> but for the most part i do kind of like to handle that myself um there's certain ways like i said that i like to have the dishes put in there that will wash better um i like to make sure that all the dishes are rinsed off you know some people don't like to put pots and pans on the bottom but i make sure to wash them off and then i will put you know them on the bottom and all my mugs and everything else so I'm just going to get these dishes done and I always put my silverware in last because I feel like it kind of stops the bottom rack from going in and out and it just it irritates me so bad so after I did that I loaded up as much as I could and then I found a thing of uh, potatoes in the refrigerator that just needed to be tossed out um, we've been dealing with our sink not draining lately we have a dish disposal and everything else but it's been kind of not wanting to work right um and so i wanted to make sure that i washed the rest of the dishes by hand i don't want to overcrowd my dishwasher so i made sure to like just put what i could in there and then okay so i don't know if you heard about this so a lot of people don't know but they take their um dish cleaner and they put it inside of the little compartment i found that if i just throw it in the bottom of my dishwasher it washes my dishes way better so that's what i do you can do it your way but this is how i do it all right and then after i always do my dishes everybody knows i'm obsessed with like comet and ajax i would bathe in this stuff if i could if it wouldn't hurt my skin because i just love the bleachy smell i love the clean smell um i do like to scrub my sink down and all the corners and everything else when i'm done with washing all of my dishes i just really like to disinfect 
you know, my sink, you know, everything has been sitting in there. So every single time I do the dishes, I always pull out my Ajax or my Clorox cleanup or whatever I have on hand and I love to scrub it down. Don't forget guys that you guys have your dish disposal that you also need to scrub. So I got that all done and then I am going to just check mark it off on my list and we're going to move on. So there is something that I wanted to talk to you guys about while I am, you know, have you guys on here. So I homeschool my daughter. I homeschool Izzy and I have the baby at home. Well, this day as I was pulling out the high chair, I always like them to get sun time. So the baby was playing in the sandbox and Izzy was watching her. She was just riding up and down on the scooter. Um, I went inside really quick to grab the high chair and and I, as I'm coming out, there's a man pulling by my house, video recording the girls. And this, as a parent, scared the crud out of me. Um, we, I immediately got freaked out. And the man kind of pulled in front of the house and then just sat there. So I asked the other neighbor, I said, hey, do you know who this is? He said, no. Um, he said, I don't know who that is. That's a guy. So I kind of went up to the car because he was sitting there on his phone. And every time I looked over there, he kind of covered his face. So I asked him, I said, hey, what is going on? Do you need something? Are you looking for someone? And he kind of got really like agitated. And I said, you know, I don't understand why you're driving by my house videotaping my kids like it's very inappropriate and he said in his own words it's not illegal to videotape people so he obviously was up to no good um it was a very very scary situation so i did end up calling the police department and i had them come out they identified the man said that he definitely was up to no good and that they are on the lookout for him so just be very very careful with your children and their surroundings because you never know okay so we are going to start dinner i'm going to start off with i'm going to make some barbecued chicken and we are going to start off with uh boneless skinless chicken thighs this is about a three pound bag i have three teenagers in my household you know what i'm going to spray the inside i have three teenagers in my household and i have my honey so they do tend to eat a lot um and we have a softball game to go to tonight for my daughter so i'm gonna throw the entire bag inside of here they are frozen so we're gonna kind of maneuver these around i'm going to toss in let me get my towel I'm going to toss in some seasonings. You can kind of really use any seasonings that you would like, but I'm going to put in some taco seasoning just to add a little bit of flavor, not too much. I'm going to add in some onion flakes. Oops, let's see. Let me take this and open this. Okay. I'm gonna add in some garlic. This is the garlic that I'm gonna be using, just like a powdered garlic. Squeeze this on top. All right. And I'm gonna use a little bit of the granulated um, onion powder. I like the onion and garlicky flavor. It's just what I like. All right, now let me come over here. I'm gonna use some soy sauce. I'm gonna just put some soy sauce right on top. Ah! And that's the baby. But soy sauce, trust the process. I have whatever is left in this jar, which is not much, but let me get a spoon and I'm just gonna scoop out the garlic that's in here because it needs to be used so I figured I would just use it right now and this recipe is good you can use it for uh, with pulled pork you can use it with whatever you want to use it with but 
It's super, super yummy. So um, I use the rest that's in there. Now I'm gonna use, I usually use um, the sweet and spicy, I believe it is, from Sweet Baby Ray's, but today we're gonna use the hickory and brown sugar. So go ahead and we are gonna use this entire bottle. Um, I don't know if I can, well, I might not be able to take that off. Let's see. I don't need this on here, so I'm gonna see if I can pop it off. There we go. Okay. Mmm, super yummy. Okay. Dump this entire bottle in here. There we go. Bring me the remote. <laughs> Whenever it goes to commercial, she says, touch it. Okay, thank you. You want mommy to press play? There you go. Say thank you. I'm gonna add a little bit of water in here. And clean up the sides. I wanna say that's maybe about a half a cup to a cup. Not even a cup, I don't think. Shake this off. You do want some liquid in here, so just clean the bottle. Right, and then brown sugar. You can make your own brown sugar. Normally I make my own brown sugar with molasses, um, but I have brown sugar on hand. So I'm just gonna make it with what I have on hand. And you can put as little or as much as you want on top of yours. We like it sweet. All right, and we do got a lot of chicken in here, guys, so just make sure you put enough. I don't have a can of whole pineapple, um, but I do have some crushed pineapple, and I'm just gonna throw a little bit of this in here to add a little bit more flavor. Oh, I already threw my spoon in the sink. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some of this on top. And we're gonna turn it on high and let it cook all day. Let this cook. Oh my god. You broke it? Oh my goodness. Why you break it? You broke it. Why? You had a what? You did? Yeah, I don't know. We were so somebody we knew was there. They kept messing up orders. They kept messing up orders? Yeah. It's like, like, cause I get pink food with and chicken food, you know? And then they kept on putting like 15 cups of vanilla. Why? 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 I help her. She's good. No, she's ripping she's it. Good. Why? Why are you ripping it? Throw it out. Throw it. Throw it over. <laughs> she wants to put it back together. No, she's broken. You broke it, I know. Why'd you break it? It doesn't matter what time of the day, this little girl has been coming to Starbucks since she came home from the hospital and daddy has been buying her cake pops forever. So she calls them a ring pop, <laughs> but she automatically knows what she wants and 
we are trying to take the pacifier from her. It's not, it's, it's a slow process, but when she talks, we make her take it out of her mouth and we make her ask for the things that she wants and there she goes. Baby girl. Is that good? Huh? Is that good? Yeah? Thank you. You are safe. Thank you. Is that good? All right, we got home from our morning walk and I wanted to get back into the cleaning about, you know, like I said, I'm gonna choose random stuff that I'm gonna clean right now off the list. And the underneath the bathroom sink, if you've seen my last video, you've seen how I deep cleaned the bathroom, but I just didn't do underneath the sink. So I wanted to make sure that I got in here. And as you can see, it was not very messy. It kind of just needed to be cleaned up a little bit. Um, it's not organized how I used to have it and it's kind of making me frustrated. I really want to get it back to that state. But for now, I'm kind of just going to go through and just clean what can be cleaned and get it all tidy so that way things are not just thrown everywhere. I do keep my candles for the bathroom in here um, and my extra like hand soaps and whatnot. Um, so, oh, of course, the first aid kit. Um, I am going to just kind of put back the stuff that I pulled out. I wanted to just wipe it down and just get it all nice and tidy so that way it didn't look a mess. And then I'm just going to check mark this off and now we have a game to go to. Good job, Izzy. All right, we're going to end our night with taking the baby a bath. And look what my son wrote. He wants a haircut, obviously. All right, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for coming and taking the time out of your day to spend with us. We are so grateful for you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and come back because we are definitely going to have so many more videos.